we saw our, our street burning, and uh, at that point, we knew that it uh, we knew that it was bad. Uh, well, we lost our house, of course, September eighth, uh, twenty twenty. We lost everything. You know, I we the only thing I own that's more than a year and a half old is one pair of flip flops, a shirt, and a hat. People are going to be getting letters that explain that there are new requirements to become fire hardened if you're in an extreme fire risk area. And it's probably going to be upsetting to some people. But having gone through this fire, I would take it very seriously and take advantage of all the grants that are available to do that sort of thing because it's future. It's, you know, it's everything. You don't want to go through what we went through. It, uh, it was a nightmare. If someone had came to me and empowered me with the knowledge that uh, you're at risk of losing everything, here's some money to help you uh, to mitigate that risk, we would have jumped on it. We would have been confused, but we would have done everything that was necessary because the alternative, when you have to deal with the mountain of paperwork, the mountain of insurance, the, the complete upheaval of your life. We lost, I lost a year of my life. I don't even know what happened to it. It was, it was, so if somebody had told me that there was something that I could do to not go through what we went through, it's a no-brainer. We, we, we have to, you don't want to go through this. You just don't.